<laughs> Obviously not here. <laughs> uh, and then, and then uh, a while ago, I did a gig in Brixton. It was an urban gig. Right? I don't know, you know, my judgment got uh, warped slightly. So I got up on stage, saw a sea of black people. So I shouted up, I hate black people! <laughs> Their response was similar to yours. They didn't laugh, they didn't cheer. They just folded their arms, they folded their legs, and they decided I was a complete cunt. Um, it was the longest ten minutes of my life, right? And then to get off the stage, I had to walk through the middle. You know, like, I, I, it felt like a gauntlet. Anyway, I survived. Um, now, when I say I hate white people, it's actually not white people I hate. I hate white comedians. Because, <laughs> right, have you noticed, they write their notes on the back of their hands. Right? When I tried to do that, I, I couldn't actually read it back. Because <laughs> I can't read my own handwriting. So I write my notes on a piece of a white, or on a piece of paper. A white piece of paper, because I am racist. So. Uh, I, I've, uh, is there anybody here from this, the LGBT community? Other people say, yeah, yeah. There, yeah. yeah so I, I've recently come out, I've come out of the closet uh, as uh, Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know what that means? Yeah. It means uh, that I had an arranged marriage. Oh. Do you guys understand arranged marriages, right? It means that I am so shit at checking out women that my mum had to step in. <laughs> also being Indian, you know, I work in IT. I don't know if you know what that means. It means that even though I'm married, I'm still a virgin. Because I'm so sheer sex that my dad had to step in. I'm joking, it was my uncle. Um, my wedding, my wedding was so long, right? That by the end, if you hear Indian wedding the long, right? By the end of it, we were seeing other people. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys know, but that in a traditional Indian wedding, you end up with two wives. Did you guys know that? One's a woman I married, the other her mother. I, I didn't know either of them. I met them both at the same time, arranged marriage, and uh, neither would sleep with me. So, sort of my life, yeah. so I, I'm from a mixed race marriage. Uh, I'm from the very north of India, and she was fucking mental. <laughs> she's uh, she's half half Indian, half Scottish. Uh, she loves curry, deep fried. <laughs> um, do any of you here love the cold? By the way, anybody like the cold? Yes. Yeah, you like the cold, right? Well, if if you don't like the cold, I've got a really simple solution: cold showers. Right. You, you'll stay warm the whole day. I, I do 10, 15 minutes cold showers. Um, now, being Indian, you know, I'm not that well endowed down there. Uh, not like uh, the black guy over there, obviously, right? Um, and, uh, but, you know, like, after five minutes in a cold shower, it shrinks so much uh, that it turns into vagina. <laughs> Which is why I'm in there for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a diet. Anybody else on uh, any kind of diet here? Uh, this, you can tell, right? It's, uh, I'm on a ketogenic diet. Anybody know about that? It's known as a zero-carb diet. Uh, my friends call it zero personality. <laughs> uh, my dog, dog calls it cocaine. <laughs> Um, and, well, I mean, my dealer, sorry, my dealer, yeah. he's in prison now, so if, uh, if anybody's applying, uh, I'd be quite interested to meet you afterwards. Uh, I'll leave you with this, basically. Um, this, this bit isn't comedy, not that any of this has been. Uh, just, just, just don't die, don't die a virgin. Uh, because there are terrorists waiting for you up there. Thank you very much. Thank you.